Truly, I say to you, he who believes in me and the works that I do, shall he do even greater works than these? And whatever you ask in my name, that will I do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son's deeds. Well, on top of that, Jesus further said, If you could abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask for anything, it shall be done for you. See, an electronic concordance quickly shows the importance of prayer in the word of God as new. Yet from the point of history, men and women God uses mightily are folks who knew and knows how to pray in sincerity for whom prayer is both a priority and necessity, speaking of which praying is to be done in entirety, not just merely speaking about it as being necessary, yet too often you fail to accomplish its reality. It has been rightly said, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. So the secret of failure is just failure in secret prayer, as you can tell from Matthew 6, verse 6, when you pray, go into a room, close the door, and speak to your father who is unseen. Father means source and sustainer so he sees what is done secretly and rewards you publicly provided you appear before him clean because praying without engaging principles or rules of engagement is simply praying amiss i mean skipping protocol or failing to follow the right channel of communication in the kingdom governance system is a sin look it is not prayer that makes you more effective in your understanding of the word of god rather it is your understanding of the word that makes you more effective in praying to the lord because prayer is birthed out of the revelations of His will imparted to you from the word of Christ like Matthew 12 verse 34 For out of the abundance of the heart, for out of the abundance of the heart, for out of the abundance of the heart, however, unto the mouth speaks. See, when you do something by yourself, you've just done it on your own. But whenever you pray properly, God works. Indeed, it is the result of the abundance within your heart that you begin to worship in hymns and psalms like the choir. But the query of the day is this, what must come first between the word and the prayer? Well, it is the question that can be answered with the question. And the question to answer this question is the question in the following question. What did the creating creative creator creatively create first from the beginning? Directively from John 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word. Figuratively, let's just say in the 21st century was a mobile phone. Now, comparatively, the word is like the mobile phone while prayer is like the SIM card. But it's funny how some folks religiously call God with the SIM card only. Oh, it's quite unfortunate how, how, how others have become Pharisees who purge. Yet, Jesus clearly said, Call unto me and I will answer to tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know mainly. By the way, the same way, the same way a phone is accompanied by the SIM card is exactly how effective praying won't make you lonely. So praying in spirit and truth is your recharge card to scratch and refill your phone account with airtime and download heaven with its presence as your data bundles and its essence as your gigabytes for your lifetime. See, when you first seek his kingdom and his righteousness, he will add himself unto you with gladness gloriousness and graciousness to bring and do more because inter means two or more so intercession is the session where two or more gathers in his name to stand in the gap for others fathers mothers brothers and sisters david was not just a mere prayer warrior but could also stand in the gap for us yes he is our predecessor Take a look at Jesus, aka the son of David's practical demonstrations of intercessions in that dispensations as inspirations and motivation for every successor, including you and I, regardless of our certificates, diplomas, degrees, masters, doctorates, PhDs, God is the greatest professor. Listen, we do not even know what we ought to pray for, but the Holy Spirit intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. He that searches for our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit because Holy Spirit intercedes for saints. Also Christ Jesus, who has his permanent priesthood is saving whoever is coming to the Father through him by interceding for every race. Hold up. In the training of the followers of Messiah, we discover every effective prayer is to be part of every disciple. Just like it was discovered in Luke 11 that even John was able to direct his disciples to praying, we too are supposed to learn this prayer principle salutes the word of prayer get it i'm out